Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be reviewing The Flash Woman at War Part 4, it's a 7-parter, Part 4, 7 parts, <laughs> uh, titled Operation Comeback. Again, it's a 7-issue event. Now, I've already done the other 3 issues, like, a week ago. I didn't feel like really uploading other this week and needed a little break, so that's why it's out now. My plan is to do Part 5, 6, and 7 tomorrow on Friday. Assuming things go the way I hope they go, we will be done with this summer issue event tomorrow, Friday, most likely by Friday night. Um, because this is part four, part five. I'm hoping we'll be out tomorrow morning, then part six in the afternoon. And assuming I pre record part seven Friday morning when I have time, um, and edit, it should be out Friday night. And then Saturday, assuming this all goes to plan. I will be putting together all my review sections of the seven part in the one big video. I don't know how long it'll be, maybe an hour, well, maybe 30 minutes, 30 minutes to an hour, somewhere around there. And just putting it all in the one big video and putting timestamps in. But anyways, let's jump right into the uh, issues, shall we? So it opened up with Superman uh, at their base, the uh, hero space, and he slowed down. He's not able to catch up to the Flash and everyone else because he's not a speedster however he is slowly like advancing his speed here but again it's different because Barry and the other speedsters were forced in their super speed Cal you know like I said isn't like that so he's gonna be frozen like that till they're done with this whole thing. The speedsters go talk to that prisoner that they freed at the end of part three. Uh, that was found in that fraction transport that Wallace and Bart stole. The boy, or the prisoner, was a corrections officer hopping through dimensions when he landed on the world that the fraction had ruled, and they were the ruler of it, of that universe. They called the prisoner organic conduit. People like him were slaves used as core engine and core engines for their ships to propel them through the speed force. And on their chest, they have glowing speed force processors like Vess and that. And that's how they are artificially using the speed force. Same with everything and everyone on their army. They also use it to slow down the planet. So this explains why they're moving at certain speed. Jay then questions why they are able to move faster than the army. And Barry mentions how they are organic users of the speed force. Therefore, they can use it to their advantage more than the people are using it artificially. The prisoner tells the speedsters to leave the planet before they are turned into weapons. Because if they do that, the fraction turns into weapons. It's, things are going to get 100 times worse. So... To make sure that doesn't happen, the prisoner wants Speedsters to leave. They ain't doing that. They decided to attack the Spire. The thing that opened up and put that wall down destroyed the entire downtown and central city in the first issue. Wally has an idea on how to get in, and Irie's reading comics to her frozen brother. Jesse comes to Irie, who is Linda and Wally's daughter, if you didn't know that, <laughs> and assures her that her brother will be okay and that none of the heroes are going to back down because they've never done that before. <laughs> They're going to keep fighting until this whole thing is done. Linda arrives, who is pregnant, if you don't remember, and isn't scared of being hurt and said that her unborn child is protecting her. She told the prisoner that, the former prisoner. Goes to the speed lab, where the speedsters turn Barry's lab into a makeshift mechanic, and they fix Molly's old car. They put one of the fraction's engines, and they plan on driving that car into the spire. If it works, a conduit should turn the engine into a bomb, which will then obviously cause a massive explosion. The Speed Force should protect whoever's driving the car from the explosion thanks to this, their Speed Force aura and the friction barrier around them. In this case, Wally demands that he drives the car and does the mission by himself so that no one else gets hurt in case things go south because he will need to phase as soon as the explosion hits so he doesn't die. Jay and Max scout the base and Jesse and Irie take down some of their forces. Wally tells Irie to stay back and protect the frozen heroes. Barry tells him this is going to end today and it's not going to go further past this moment. And Barry's frustrated with Iris's death. He's blaming himself, which I think is every right to here. And Barry doesn't have any family left. I mean, he doesn't have his parents, doesn't have Iris, you know, or really anyone <laughs> uh, besides the speedsters. Uh, but Wally persuades Barry to keep moving forward and Barry told Wally that Iris asked him to marry her. And it was revealed that Bear is going to propose to Iris later that night. So they both were going to propose to each other at the end of the night. Um, and Barry had a ring on him that he kept on his suit in his belt area. Kid Flash and Impulse uh, rush into a convoy leaving the Fraction base. 
Molly attacks and blows up the tank, forcing the wall to open up, which is what they use with J, Max, Bart, and Wallace. Then all rush in, hold the wall open as Wally starts up his supercharged car and runs into the wall, or starts driving towards the open wall. Jay was then stabbed by the Admiral, and he captured the four heroes. Miss Murder ends up infiltrating the home base, and the plan wasn't a front-out attack like how they led to believe. On the other side of the base, Linda and Jesse are holding the wall open so that Wally can drive that car in. So what Jay, Bart, Max, and uh, Wallace were doing was just a distraction. They knew that they would catch on to what they were doing. So they planned for another attack on another side of the wall, which is pretty smart. But it didn't work because the Spire, they had turrets around the Spire that were firing at the car. But the speed force energy around that car and Wallace, or Wally, sorry, just bounced off. So the Spire then opened fire on the car and it vaporized Wally and the car, presumably killing them. And then it said that, uh, the fraction is stronger than anything or anyone alive. And the issue ends there. This overall was a very, very, very good issue. And I do think that um, we're getting more into the action stuff than we were last issue. But this issue is like a whole nother level of action on action on action on action. Um, I do think the opening could have been a little bit better in that regard, because we were kind of just like, you know, explaining, explaining, which was needed, but it would have been cool if they kind of like showed some like flashbacks in that, you know, just like showing them being, you know, these organic receptors and, or kind of what sorry, and, you know, how they actually captured all these prisoners and abused their energy to become a part of Speed Force. That would have been nice to see. Obviously, you know, they didn't do that, which is fine. But I do think it kind of dragged out that little bit, you know, but not really anything interesting being shown. It was just what's being said, which is fine, you know. It It's not a big problem, like I said. But I do kind of wish that things were a little different in the beginning. But the ending of it, was genuinely really, 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 really good. And the action that they put in there, what they showed, what they said, was really cool. Uh, I am kind of curious, though, what's going on with Wally, because as far as I'm aware, he ain't dead. <laughs> so it's very interesting to see where all that goes. <laughs> um, but I, I am, you know... I mean, he could be dead, <laughs> I guess. Could always come back through time travel. I don't really entirely know what's going on there. Um, or if even time travel is involved, who knows? I would assume there will be time travel in this because the entire city's pretty much like under ruin right now, isn't it? Or the at least downtown of the city. So unless they're going to magically fix that and bring back 100,000 plus dead people, uh... <laughs> I think time travel would need to be involved here. So if Wally is in fact dead, they could bring him back through that. You know, I wouldn't mind that. But uh, overall, this issue was probably like an 8 out of 10. It wasn't better than the other three. But the action stuff in this issue carried it. Um, I, Like I said earlier, we got the explanation stuff out of the way already. Right? I am glad that they explained the Speed Force stuff that was needed. But it, it was needed three issues ago. <laughs> or two issues ago, sorry. The first issue was like, you know, opener. The second issue, they could have put this in there, or even a third issue. But I'm glad we're getting it now and not in the seventh and final issue of this event because it is it would have been a little bit dragged out. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.